Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy, your independent sensory consultant with Happily Scented Homes. And I am super excited because finally, 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 um, my new season consultant kits and everything came in and I have my pretty paws <laughs> on the new bars. So super, super excited. I did wait, I have not sniffed these. So this will be first sniffs and I thought it'd be to share it with you guys and all of that so disclaimer if you don't want to know yet what the new releases are then wait till march 1st to watch this video but i like the element of surprise i like sneak peeks i know you guys do so we're gonna go ahead and do first sniffs um i think what i'm gonna do because i do have my new catalog I think what I'm going to do is rank them right now just based on their scent description if I'm going to like them and then see after I do my first sniff if that is still the case. So just based off scent description, I think number 10 is definitely going to be the Wild Cherry, Cherry and Sakura. And then number 9 would be Very Sweet. Um, probably sip and pool side would be number eight because I don't really like pear. So, uh, pink berry sandalwood would probably come in at six. Take me to paradise would probably be number five. And then probably bamboo rainfall. Very vanilla. Sun Castles, Moon Orchid, and Evening Sky. Okay, so that was like my ranking from least to favorite, just based off the scent description. So we will go ahead and sniff them. I don't know if I want to do it in alphabetical order or if I want to... Yeah, we'll just do it in alphabetical order, so I'll pull them. Okay, so Bamboo Rainfall. Um, since he is putting this in the fresh category and they described it as an exhilarating rainfall pours down over fresh bamboo and bright melon water. So we had bamboo, banana leaf and bamboo last year. And then we've had sunburst bamboo. Um, we've had like aloe vera and ivy that had melon, um, like honeydew melon or melon water in it. So there's a lot of scents that are like this, like this is a typical fresh scent for Sunsea. They got like some type of greenery, some type of like aquatic notes, and there's always either cucumber or bamboo. <laughs> this is like a given for them. So I'm curious if this is going to smell extremely similar to the other ones that they've produced and if it's going to be a lackluster because of that. So we'll see. Seriously, they just recycled the scent. This is Bamboo Yuzu. If anybody that's old school Scentsy, or I think Bamboo Yuzu was in a Bring Back Your Bar round, like maybe four or five rounds ago. Yeah, this is Bamboo Yuzu. If you like Bamboo Yuzu, Prickly Pear Agave, Sea Salt and Avocado, um, the In the Jungle, the Lion King Bar. If you liked Banana Leaf and Bamboo from last year, these, this, they're so similar. It's like scary. Like it's so scary how similar they are. This is just a recycled scent in my opinion. In my opinion, they just kind of went with the flow and what sells for them. And they weren't really imagine. They really weren't creative or imaginative with this bar. Yeah, this is definitely not. <laughs> I like fresh bars, but this is not for me. No, 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 no. Okay, let's see here. Okay, next would be Berry Sweet. This one is fresh blueberries, red strawberries, and sweet candy glaze. So this is the first time, I think, since the Easter collection of 22, because we had Blueberry Burst, um, that they've done like a blueberry scent or a mixed berry scent or whatever. I don't know. 
fruity has, I, I don't know, fruity to me, I, I like fruity, but it's certain types of fruit, so we'll see. See, another recycled scent. This is red, white, and berry pie without the pie note. Yeah, this is red, white, and berry pie. It was a scent of the month from June of 22, I think. This is red, white, and berry pie just without the pie note. I'm disappointed in this. If you like fruit, if you like red, white, and berry pie, then you are going to like this. If you like strawberry sweetie, that was in the recent Bring Back Your Bar promotion that just ended. If you like sugar strawberry, I think you, you'll like this because it's very fruity. I don't get much blueberry though. And you do get like that sickly sweet candied glaze too. But again, it's another recycled scent. They literally just took a red, white, berry pie and removed the pie note and added some candy glaze and called it good. I don't know. <sighs> this is not doing well, guys. We're already two in and I don't like either one of those. <laughs> All right, Cake Me to Paradise. All right, this is bakery, bakery. Sweet cake infused with juicy orange and island rum will whisk you away to paradise. So let's see. Really? It's light, you guys. It's not a strong bakery, at least on cold. To me, this reminds me of Clementine Cupcake, but just add more like tropical fruit and less cake. You definitely get the island rum, but it's not like a like a Captain Morgan spiced rum, like not like a brown one. It's like a creamy, like think rum, um, rum chata. I think like that. Yeah, I could, I could either go or pass on this one. We'll see how it warms, but it's a light bakery. It is a definitely like bakery. But I feel like if you did like Clementine Cupcake, if you liked Strawberry Lemon Cake, I think you might like this one too. So it's it's got promise. But not enough to rank it high. <laughs> All right, Evening Sky. This was the one I was the most excited about. Um, Evening Sky. They're putting this in floral. It's Soft Bergamot, Madagascar Vanilla, and Midnight Lily. So if you remember... Midnight Lily was in Miss Midnight Masquerade from the Mardi Gras collection. I absolutely love that bar. So really, really hopeful on this one. It's wicked pretty, wicked pretty. To me, this is like a more feminine version of dashing. But I also do get some aspects of that Midnight Lily that are similar in the Midnight Masquerade. And even... The vanilla in here, it kind of reminds me of the vanilla that's in Stargazing. So I think if you like all those scents I just mentioned, Dashing, uh, Stargazing, Midnight Masquerade, I think you would really appreciate this one. It's definitely like a bedroom, office, bathroom type of bar. It's very light, but I think it will linger. I think it's one of those scents that it won't pack a lot of power but it will, you know, it will, um, be long and like, I don't know what I'm thinking. It'll be long and lasting, <laughs> but not like a powerhouse. So that's actually really nice. Okay. Moon Orchid. This was another one that I was super excited about. It's in the floral category. It's got bergamot, night blooming jasmine, and vanilla orchid. This is another recycled scent. It's pretty, it, don't get me wrong, it's it's very pretty, but this is forever yours by Sunsea. Yeah, this is forever yours. Not like an exact dupe, but very, very similar. And also um, that Glamorous You collection, the Sweet But Fierce, it was the purple bar getting some some vibes off this too 
it's pretty. I think if you liked any of those two bars that I mentioned, Forever uh, Yours or Sweet But Fierce from the Glamorous You collection, I think you'll appreciate Moon Orchid. If you're a floral person, I think you would appreciate it because it's not a heavy powdery floral. It's just like a nice um, body care floral, like a sweet summer floral. But it's recycled. It's definitely a recycled scent. Okay, Pinkberry Sandalwood. Pinkberry Sandalwood is Pinkberry and Fresh Cherry with Tonka Bean and Sandalwood. I don't know what to think on this one, you guys. Okay. If you liked Pink Leather, I think you would appreciate this one. And if you are missing satin sheets, I would pick up Pinkberry Sandalwood. It's got the same sandalwood note that's in satin sheets, but then just add like this masculine tone and cherry. Yeah. If you like satin sheets or if you liked pink leather, this is going to be something that would be um, in your wheelhouse. So that's not too bad. It's only like the medium side on cold, so... Sip and pool side. This one I'm worried about because it has pear in it. <laughs> um, let's see. Sit back and relax with fresh pear, sparkling citrus, and aquatic accord. Which basically is just like fancy wording for it. It smells like the sea. So we'll just go with that. Oh, this is nice. Okay, this is the pear that I like. This is not the nasty pear. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of sand swept but without that dusty rock note and then just add like a lot of fruit, like a lot of fresh fruit. This actually isn't bad. It's also kind of giving me the same like oceanic fruity, like vibe that I get from ocean air coconut water. It'd be interesting to see how these two like warm against each other. But yeah, like a sand swept without the dusty rock, add in a whole bunch of fresh fruit and ocean air and coconut water with like a fruity base. I actually like this one. That is, that is so surprising. <laughs> okay, Sun Castles. This one, it's in the fruity category. It's sunny coconut, brightens up tropical pistachio and sweet almond working no, invoking memories of the beach. I can barely get anything off of it. It's very light. I do get coconut. And it's not like a authentic coconut like you get in coconut for coconuts or coconut palm. It is like a tropical coconut. There is a little bit of a nuttiness to the bar, so that might be that pistachio. But I'm not getting any almonds. Like, that might come out later when it's warming. This isn't exactly what I was thinking when I read the description, but I'm not mad about it. I think it's a good alternative for people that don't like, like, the super heavy tropical coconut scents. Like, this is a good balance for those people that don't like the heavy, heavy coconut and the heavy, heavy tropical notes. They still want a beachy scent, but they don't want all of that in their face. I think this would be a good one for them. It's not reminding me of any other scent, so it seems like this is kind of original. So, there we go. And then Very Vanilla. This one everybody was hoping is going to be vanilla uh, waves, but I don't know because it just says creamy vanilla and tonka bean. So, yeah, no. No, this is disappointing. It's extremely light. It's almost so light that it could be in that same category as white, amber, and silk where it's TFL to light. I, I don't get anything off of this. They put it in bakery, but again, this is not a bakery. They This is the same thing they did with Sugar Blossom last year. This is not bakery. This is like a floral vanilla. This is like a 
body care vanilla. Like, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got a body wash from Suave upstairs in my shower that smells just like this. Yeah, I'm disappointed in that one. Highly disappointed in that one. Okay, last but not least, Wild Cherry and Sakura. Wild Cherry as accents the delicate beauty of Sakura Blossom and Pink Jasmine. Oh my god. Are you freaking kidding me? This is gorgeous. What does this remind me of? This this was a sensi scent. This is a recycled one, but a good one, and I can't I can't think of what it is. What is it? Okay, anybody that's gotten their bars, smell this. What sensi scent am I smelling from Wild Cherry and Sakura? This is something sensi that Sensi's done already. Is it mysterious? Quiver, love story? No, love story had chocolate in it. I think it may be quiver. This is beautiful. I actually really like this one. Silhouette? No, that had patchouli in it. Never mind. This smells eerily familiar. This is a previous Sunsea fragrance, but I just for the life of me cannot like figure out what it is. So if anybody has this, smell it and tell me that I'm not like losing my mind, that this is a recycled fragrance, but what is it? I need to know. Okay. So let's see. So I got to go from most like to least. So let's see here. Definitely that one. See, I was disappointed by this one, but it's not like it's bad. Yeah, I think that I think that's it. Okay. So rounding out, um, the one that I like the most on cold is sipping poolside. I know, crazy, right? Because it has pear in it, but this is really nice. It's right up my alley. Like I said, it smells like sand swept, but without the dusty rock note. And it gives me a little bit of the ocean air and coconut water vibes that I get when I warm that bar. So this is number one right now for the 10 new releases. This might change once I warm them all, but I'm cold. Um, coming in second is Wild Cherry and Sakura. This is beautiful. And I really wish I know <laughs> what it is that I'm smelling right now. It's so familiar though. Since he's done this fragrance before, but I just don't know what it what it could be. But this is really, really good. Um, number three, Evening Sky. It's so, so pretty. And like I said, it's like a lighter version of um, the Midnight Masquerade. Take out all that smoky vanilla because it's got that same Midnight Lily in here. But then it's also like a feminine version of Dashing. And it's got the vanilla notes that are similar to Stargazing. And I love all three of those scents. So... Yeah, that's number three. Number four would be the Moon Orchid. I do like this one. I do like it. And I think it's because it's got the bergamot in it with the jasmine. I typically don't gravitate towards orchid scents too much. But it'll be interesting to see how this warms. Cake Me to Paradise would be number five. It's not bad. Like I said, it does remind me of Clementine Cupcake. But just a more tropical version of it. And I do like strawberry lemon cake, so I'm hopeful this might get stronger as it sits a little bit and as I warm it. So we'll see how it does there. Um, number, was it six? Yeah, six would be Pinkberry Sandalwood. I do think it's really nice. I think this will be a good alternative for people that are missing um, like satin sheets in the spring and summer catalog, but also those people that are sad when cashmere and corduroy and cozy cardigan go away for the fall and winter, this would probably be a really good spring and summer alternative for those cozy cardigan and cashmere and corduroy lovers. So, 
Um, number seven would be Berry Sweet. Even though it's not my fruit go-to, it's not bad for a mixed berry scent. And because they kicked so many out, like they kicked out um, Appealing Apple and Ruby Nectarine and Star Apple and Freesia and what was the other one? Rainbow Red. If you are missing any of those and didn't club them, this would be a good alternative, I think. Um, number eight is going to be Sun Castles just because it's so light and not what I was expecting. And I just don't know if this would be something that I would go and repurchase myself. I think this would be really great in hand cream because it kind of gives me almost that same um, tone that Coconut Daiquiri has. A little bit, not not much. So that's number eight. Number nine is Bamboo Rainfall because this is just so generic. It's so generic. It's a very generic, fresh, greenery, scentsy bar. I feel like they could have, if they just added like one additional scent note, I think it could have totally changed this bar, but it is so similar to all the other ones out there. Prickly Pear Agave, Sea Salt and Avocado, Bamboo Yuzu, Banana Leaf and Bamboo, um, the In the Jungle Bar by the Lion King. It, those are all so similar, but like literally if you didn't have them in a clamshell and they were all just like exposed, I couldn't tell the difference between them all. So that's number nine. And then number 10 is the very vanilla, unfortunately. This is just a womp disappointment. I'll warm it, definitely. But I feel like this is going to be the sugar blossom of the spring and summer catalog this year. Because they put this in bakery. And it's not a bakery bar, you guys. This is completely floral. It's floral and it's body care. Again, I don't know what sense he's thinking. But overall, I mean, not too bad. There seems to be a scent in each scent category other than woods and citrus. So it seems like there's something for everybody. So, but I'll go ahead and warm these. Um, I'll try to warm them over the next couple of weeks so that way I can put up like a warm review for the um, first week of March, hopefully. Um, but I do plan on doing like a sniff session through the whole catalog of fragrances um, with you guys so I can let you know like what my experience has been with them um, and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. I'm probably gonna film that um, like over the next week and then get it posted, so. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys have gotten your bars in, if you're consultants and you've smelt them already, what's been your favorite? What's been your least favorite? Um, love to know. And as always, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.